reverse palms lift up was, um, as I was coming through as a student, one of the most difficult uh, techniques in the entire out of the 50 for me. And before testing, I always felt like I had to have the right uke, you know, that kind of understood the technique so that I could do it properly. Um, basically, that was, uh, that was a mistake on my part. I, I wasn't doing the technique correctly. <laughs> and uh, so they just really don't need the cooperative uke per se. You just do the technique, you know, correctly, and then everything seems to fall into place. So two hands grabbing, two hands. His handshake is firm. Now from here, I'm in, I'm at my, my eye. So now from here, I just step back into hum, right? Now, as I'm stepping back, these hands are coming, they come up and then they flare out as I'm stepping back into hominy. I was, when I was doing this, trying to do like half of a wrist escape and then reach back and try to grab his wrists. And it was impossible. So what you're doing, what I want you to do or think about doing instead, if you're having trouble with this, uh, the transition with the grip here is you, you bring your hands up and you rotate your palms out like that. Okay, so, so, so as you're stepping back in the hand, so here palms up, out. Now look, that brings him into me. Now, I've got this good grip. He's falling into me. All I do is bring it back here and he's tapping. Okay, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then the technique is over according to the book. <laughs> okay, and now the, one of the important things is this hominy stance is really deep. Okay? So, because you want to be underneath him as he's coming in on you. So do it again. We're here. Okay, right, so we're here. The hands come up and then they flare out and then this allows me to get his wrist. So, so as I'm stepping back into harmony, it's up, they flare out, and then there's the lock. When I go on the hand, I got the heel off. And that's where the technique actually ends. Right? Let go of one hand and then you go with the other. So, if you were having a lot of trouble with uh, the connection on the um, reverse palms lift up, that motion, as you step back into Hamdi, bring your hands up, and then just flaring out, now you have his wrists in the perfect position. He's falling into you and you just bring them together underneath his center and the technique is over. Let go of one hand, he'll do a peel off, okay? That allows you to complete the technique, right? If you, uh, doing it the way that I showed you, if you bring them together completely, you'll absolutely break his wrist. There's no way to get around it. So as you're bringing them in, you let go of one hand and that creates the peel off. Thank you for watching. If you have any comments, I'd love to hear them. Right now, this is Jonathan and Jackson signing off with ngexperience.com.